relating to the charity sector. It's just bad legislation. Dr. Cam Calder. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a great pleasure to rise and take a very brief call on uh, the Crown Entities Reform Bill. Well, at this stage, the committee stage has been divided into uh, three the Public Health Disability Amendment Bill, the Mental Health Commission Amendment Bill, and the Charities Amendment Bill number two. At this stage, I would like to uh, uh, acknowledge the excellent chairmanship of the Honourable Ruth Dyson. I'm not a member of the committee myself, but I have been given a briefing by the uh, Deputy Chairman, Mr Chris Ockenvold, who spoke of the excellent work and the collegiality uh, on that committee. The, uh, the Crown Entities Reform Bill, as we said, is, is being looked at in, in three bills here, and this is part of the Government's overall programme to improve state sector performance as a whole. One of our four priorities, as we heard in the budget debate earlier today, is to getting better value from our public services, more efficient, more effective, better public services. Because we're not about growing the public service, but growing services to the public, uh, Mr Speaker. This means more frontline service delivery and more efficient back office services. And we're aiming to reduce the duplication of corporate and governance overheads and ensure that agencies can continue to deliver the frontline services that all New Zealanders have a right to expect and indeed do expect. One of the things that um, I'm, I'm particularly taken with is the establishment of a new health promotion agency. As a background in medicine, I do believe that prevention has a huge part in improving the health of New Zealanders. And the new health promotion agency will take over the functions of the Alcohol Advisory Council of New Zealand, often known as ALAC, the Health Sponsorship Council and the relevant functions of the Ministry of Health. Now, the reason for this, this change is part of the government's programme, as I said, to ensure that the state sector delivers efficient frontline services. And we believe that reducing the number of government agencies is likely to improve the coordination, reduce fragmentation and ensure that functions are delivered by agencies with a greater resilience in a state of some uncertain and harsh economic times. Um, we believe that, for instance, will allow efficiencies in, in the um, commissioning of um, advertisements, television adver advertisements and possibly education resource production, just to show a couple of small examples. So, Mr Speaker, um, this is an opportunity. It strengthens the focus on health promotion activity, as I say, also by strengthening existing health promotion activity in the Ministry of Health uh, to a focused uh, health promotion entity. We believe it will create more opportunities for innovative and targeted approaches to those people and communities with multiple health issues. Mr Speaker, I commend this bill to the House. Lewis Wall.